in Agra, I visited this UP Handicrafts Development Center. I got Taj Mahal and uh, two shawls. So Taj Mahal, I will open it up right now. This is the Taj Mahal. Oops. <laughs> okay. This whole thing is in marble. This costed six fifty. So, if you who don't know, Taj Mahal is a symbol of love. I'll be making video about the places that I visited and some history about them in my next upcoming videos. It is so cute. I am thinking of putting a glass case cover and just covering it up because you just place it like this. It's definitely going to get dirty. Glass case is much better. You can see it's they've taken pen and done some decoration so that it gets highlighted. It's the same all around. I just like the carving work. I wish it was much more better. But still, some kind of memento that I just went there. This is one. I also bought another one which costed $150. It was from a local street store. Uh, a friend of mine wanted it. I have already given it to her. So I don't even have a photo to show. But it looks just like this except that it was not colored it was just a plain white Taj Mahal and nothing else seemed different about it and I got two shawls hmm they both look the same don't they but there is a slight difference the next store I went to was this bakery. This is the visiting card. Yeah, I always take visiting cards and pamphlets if it's lying around there or I ask them. I had to visit the bakery because it was my sister's birthday. Yes, her birthday is on Jan 26, so I had to go get a cake for her. And while waiting for the cake, I saw these chocolates. These are called as pan chocolates. I just have a few left, already most of them have been finished by friends and there's another group of friends not yet given so this is just one for each, so sad. <laughs> so these are called as pan chocolates, focus, why is it not focusing, there you go, these are called as pan chocolates, they are chocolate filled with actual pan filling, when you have a pan especially the sweet pan which is my favorite they give the filling inside it this is the exact thing I haven't had anything like that in Bangalore city so this is what I got from there this is 15 rupees each one that is all different shapes you get square you get kind of this circular disc and again it's kind of uh, I don't know what to call this <laughs> so if you ever go to the shop try it out while waiting I also had different cakes the small ones we're just sharing it with my guy the quality of the cakes was really good it is not a small shop it's pretty huge they have a bakery connected to it a cake shop so there was a lot of rush and I think it's worth it to visit so do check the shop out now moving to the next place that I did shopping it's called as SR market I got a lot of stuff from there, especially shoes. I got all of them are these type. This is the first shoe I would like to show you. This was 100 rupees. It is fake leather. It's got black and white. White background with black dots. If you actually see from far, it looks like it's spelling something out, which I notice now, not while shopping, because I was in such a hurry with just rushing through all the shops trying to make up time but it does not read anything I, I think it's just random letters it does not mean anything it's 
like a S, U and an I. That's all I could figure out. So this was 100 rupees. And the next pair, I think they're really cute. This was 150. It is a black shoes. Oh, focus. Why is it not focusing? Oh, yeah, much better. It's black shoes with a satin bow right here on the front. It is just glued onto it, that side. Here, you can make out. It's soft, it's satin. There's a gap right here, slit, it's covered here. This was 150. It's peep toe version. The base is velvet, which I do not like. I don't like the base to be velvet because you'll be wearing this in function and it'll already be so hot. But what to do for the for this cost for 150, you cannot expect more. So this is the pair. This was 150 rupees. Moving to the next one. This is the third pair of shoes I bought. It's kind of olive green color. And again, this is fake leather. It has strap right here coming and a buckle. It's again flat. I don't wear heels. If you're walking in Indian roads, there's not going to be level roads. It's, I don't know how people walk in heels and not keep tripping over. It's really hats off to them. I just can't do that. <laughs> so coming back to the show. This again, this costed 150 rupees. I think they're cute. I like the pointed kind. It's not too pointed. It's not too oval. It's just the perfect amount. And these next ones, one more pair, same thing. <laughs> this is in navy blue. Again, fake leather. They have like dew drops and dots punched into them and the edges are all semicircle. So that's how they look. And you wear it. It has a very small amount of heels, smaller uh, version than the high school heel, so that's okay. It's a little oval, it's not pointed version. I think it looked really good for my kurtas. I wear a lot of kurtas, so this will be perfect. I always buy white, brown, or black, so I was like, it's time to move on to colors. That's why this cost it $250, the higher version. <laughs> and next one are these totally different. Have not seen them anywhere in Bengaluru. <laughs> Almost resemble loafers. These were on sale. It was actually 650, but I paid 350 for this. It is cloth. The whole thing is cloth. Even this is cloth. This is cloth, but inside is kind of a velvet filling. Again, little difficulty maintaining it. And it has like a brick design stitched onto it. It's really nice. I'm still deciding what to wear it with but it looks so nice that I just had to buy it. That's how it looks. So that much for shoes. Yeah, only that much I got. Then I got two bags. This is the first bag. I wanted something to put in the side sling because when I'm traveling, I don't want to carry my whole backpack. I prefer to leave that in the vehicle of mode of transport and just carry this in this will be the wallet and the mobile important stuff which you cannot leave behind so it is so big a little bigger than the wallet width it's bigger than that you can easily fit a small mini umbrella into it that much is the size it has two small pockets in the front where you can put stuff into it your knickknacks and this is the inside it is a thick cloth it is not waterproof though there's another small zip here you can 
I like I prefer compartments many compartments it is stitched onto it it's not like a separate flap which you usually get and again here in the behind there's one more compartment so there's like one two three four and the main zip so so many compartments the strap is again adjustable strap which I prefer just put in the side sling it and you're done with it this was 250 rupees not bad right 250 and moving to the next bag this was 150 but if you walk around after walking around a bit the last shop this was 100 rupees and in the starting shops that is in the beginning stores of the market that time only I bought this it was 150 and in the most backward shop there it was 100 so if you have time just go around the shops compare the rates and buy from the shop which is the least rate but since I was in a hurry I was trying to make up for more amount of places in short duration of time so just buying and not doing the comparison since it was not that costly like 500 or 600 just within 200 rupees so it's fine well coming back this was 150 again this is a little different this whole thing is one yeah and it just folds like that there's one zip right here and there's a compartment that separates it so you can put stuff in this flap and for the bottom one you put this flap right here so there's one more compartment right here one more right here the inside lining is cloth it's not waterproof or anything this is a very dark navy blue it will go along with all the clothes as usual browns blacks whites now navy blue it will go along with any jean perfect Again, this is adjustable. You can adjust it how much ever you want. Always buy adjustable. So this is a side sling bag to put all the important stuff while traveling. Again, a small umbrella will fit into it. Diagonally, that is. I also got two leather bags from the market. And the guy was so sweet. He put the bags again in this cloth bag so that I could carry it easily. <laughs> let me just remove it yeah both black this is one my friend wanted a black leather bag so I was like okay no big deal so I got one for her okay I just changed the location so that you can get a better view of the bag a full good view this is how the bag looks in full it's so long it's got a sturdy handle it's black of course it's fake leather it has this silver attachment on it it is a snap button right here to keep the stuff and oops <laughs> yeah the handle is not big enough I mean the width to hold it it's got a cloth filling inside a small compartment right here it is attached not a separate flap is attached with the bag and there's one more compartment so it's two this bag costed uh, 300 rupees she was telling you get bags for 200 but this is a big really big leather bag there's another small compartment right here so I hope she likes it oops sorry yeah I hope she likes this bag this is the second bag that I bought this is for myself it has the handle right here also if you want a longer strap to put in the side but I don't think I'll use that because it's really huge it's the size of a messenger bag it's got the clasp right here if I want I can remove the long sling and just have this that's why I bought it I prefer something that is detachable and not permanent I'll just keep this in the bag it has the texture of a crocodile skin you can see that yeah they all say it's real crocodile all that but you won't get 300 rupees bag leather bag that to crocodile skin do you <laughs> no you don't so trust me it's fake 
and I wouldn't buy a real one. So there's one compartment right here in the back. Let me just turn it. Let me just put it better. This is the front. That's how it looks. It's simple, plain, nothing on it. Just the crocodile skin. I just wanted that to be the main focus. This is the same as the previous bag. It has one compartment right here, zip, and another compartment right here. A small zip compartment that is attached to it, not separate. And in the back, which I just showed you, is another. This is 300. So both the bags, each 300, total 600. Not bad, right? I would like to call this as my airport haul. Um, we went early, I was just checking out all the shops and stores in the airport and I saw this chocolate. And it's been so long since I had this Swiss chocolate. I remember having it pretty long back. I remember the logo and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> just memories were flooding back. So I got this chocolate from there. It is called as uh, cacao. There, cacao. Premium dark chocolate. And how much is this? Uh, yes, this is 80 rupees. Choco quality Swiss. It is 60 grams. 